And here's this tablet computer that he got uh, from a company 10 kilometers away from him. They went bankrupt and he got tons of stuff for scrap metal prices. Um, it was uh, designed for hospitals to display all kinds of, uh, you know, stuff for doctors and patient information and stuff like that, perhaps. And as I said, it's got the rather strange looking pattern on the screen. Check that out. Is that something to do with the touch screen? Really? Do we have serial number 11? Wow, let's crack it open. All right, let's open this puppy up and see what we've got. Oh, oh, what a dog's breakfast. Look at the hot snot. Wow, look, is that a, is that a regular? Uh, yep, yep, it's a 7815 voltage regulator tacked onto the back. Wow, I wasn't wrong about this being like a uh, R&D job. This is like hacked together prototype. This is absolutely incredible. Look at this. They've got a hand etched board down here for the power supply. That's awful. They've used an off the shelf, uh, you know, embedded uh, PC, of course. They didn't bother to roll that on their own. Is this the um, uh, touch screen? Like, look, they've hacked in some, ba oh, okay. Yep, yeah. <laughs> and they've been taped off. They've hacked in some batteries in there. They're like the backup batteries, are they? Oh my goodness, this thing's awful. There's our main battery pack down here. Got another couple of wires chopped off here. Oh, wow, this thing is hacked together. It is awful. I don't even know how they've made the case. What the hell is going on with that thing? But this was really hacked together. Well, I mean, you know, it doesn't look bad from the outside. And they were probably, you know, pro quite impressed with it, uh, the client, if they didn't open the thing. Jeez, but, you know, sometimes you've got to rush to get a, uh, a prototype made, but that's, yeah, that's pretty bad. Wow. And check out this controller board. They had that plugged into the USB. They didn't even bother, uh, like, getting a, a USB to Mini B cable. They just, like, hacked it in there and soldered it on. God, are you shitting me? That's awful and stuck it down with double-sided tape. Wow, this thing is beyond horrific. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that wins the bodge of the, wait, well, bodge of the year award, perhaps. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. But look at this, they've gone to the effort to make it double-sided. <laughs> So they know it's, they haven't got a clue about layout, about soldering, about <laughs> construction. Oh my goodness. I can't believe they delivered that to a client. Wow. I mean, yeah, sure enough, if you have to do a home etched board, you know, hand etched board to, you know, to get the job done, to meet the deadline for, you know, a little uh, prototype run or something. But this is serial number 11. So they made at least 11 of these things. I mean, you know, like, sure. Okay. Home etched board. Fine. This was done before you can get, you know, cheap and cheerful uh, and fast prototypes that you can these days and stuff like that. But, oh my, like that is just executed. Oh, horribly. Wow. <gasps> Have you ever seen anything that bad? In effectively, what is a effectively a client deliverable? And they've added a thermal pad on the back there just to uh, couple through to the heat sink on the uh, single board computer board here. But it's all held in with like tape. I mean, this thing was like, uh, like just sort of wasn't even hot snotted or taped in. I mean, but check out the bodge pot on the side oh, for adjustment. Oh! So they've just like bodged the output of this power supply into there. I mean, they couldn't, I mean, why go to the effort to do that? It, it's like standard voltage. What do you need? 12 volts and 5 volts or something for this single board computer. Buy a bloody off the shelf power brick that does the business, not this garbage. Unbelievable. And check out these rechargeable batteries. Like, they couldn't even bother to put it in a proper socket. Look, they've soldered directly onto the tabs of the battery. Wow! 
How bad is that? That is awful. Why would you do this? Like, they couldn't have been in that much of a rush. They couldn't go down to their local, well, you know, not Tricky Dick store or J-Car store like here in Australia. They couldn't even go down to the local electronic store and pick up a bloody battery holder. Unbelievable. And it looks like they couldn't fit it in, so they wedged another battery down here. Oh... Wow, and that's actually, I thought that was a separate pack. It's not. It's an extension of this main pack down in here. And they, I thought, and they've done the same thing if they wrapped it in paper. I think they've just put the same cells and wrapped it in paper and sold it onto the ends. Wow, I thought at first glance that was some sort of, you know, off-the-shelf battery pack. It's not. So, yep, they've seriously done that. Wow, look. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, look. Unbelievable. They've bodge soldered a pack together. Oh, that is the worst I have ever seen. Wow. Some company designed and built these in like at least 11 volume, like at least maybe, you know, like the dozens of volume. And this is what they delivered. Whoa. And there you have it for those who want to see the bodge soldering. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so that's inside the Asinomed Info View. And this is actually still a company that seemed to still be going to make all sorts of, you know, whiz-bang medical type, uh, you know, display and devices and things like this. But what the hell is this? I mean, I can't believe any company at all would produce a deliverable like this. And, you know, it's not uncommon to do what they've done here. They've, like, it looks like they've maybe reused this uh, case from something else, because I can't believe, I mean, you know, it looks pretty good, right, from the outside, and actually feels pretty good and everything else, right? So it's not bad for, like, a, you know, a low-run uh, prototype uh, demo unit or, you know, something like that. So, you know, use an off-the-shelf uh, case like this, because if they custom designed this case, there's no way they would have the resources to custom design this case and then end up with this sort of bodged garbage like this, right? So obviously they've um, just, you know, hacked in some other product. They've put in a commercial display, of uh, course. They've put in a commercial uh, touchscreen uh, controller, of course, touchscreen over the front. They've used, of course, a, a fine, perfectly fine uh, single board industrial computer like this, exactly what uh, you'd expect. And then they've gone and, you know, shoved a battery pack and a power supply in there to make it all work, and that's fine, but... Look at how they implemented it. This battery pack makes you want to puke. And this thing just makes you want to, uh, just, just, like, stab your eyes out with a soldering iron. Really. I mean, you cannot unsee that once you've seen it. Oh, my goodness. Like, just use an off-the-shelf power brick. This is ridiculous. So I don't know whether um, it's the company Asinomod who's actually done this or whether or not they just had like a subcontractor actually do this. They just farmed it out, which is uh, quite common. And that's probably the most likely scenario here. And they got stuck with this freaking turkey and serial number 11. I'm assuming they, you know, produced a run of these because this is not it, like you would. I wouldn't even do this as a, like a one off rush prototype for a client to, uh, you know, if I was a sub, you know, a subcontract designer, I wouldn't do this as a one-off prototype, you know, demonstrator. It's just embarrassing because surely they're going to open it. You just, you just do not do this. Unbelievable. Wow. Wow. I hope that person who did this or people, I show uh, surely not more than one engineer. One engineer is like just not even engineer. I don't know who it is. Jeez, maybe it's the Dodgy Brothers have put this together, but oh God, I hope they're not still in business. Oh, the Dodgy Brothers! <laughs> oh, blind Dodgy! Oh, he's up! Oh, Arthur! Where? Back! Out! Again! Three! Five to six years! In Her Majesty's 
Tide Sharing Resort. Free home, nothing. And we're still making cheaper Come commercials because they're, they're cheaper, cheaper to make. make. And we've, we've gone, gone crazy, 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 crazy. Yes. I can understand, OK, like, if you don't have room in there, you've got to, like, bodge in a pack, but you don't do garbage like this. And this, and just, you know, hot snot, hey, time-honoured technique. If you're only making a run of 10, maybe you can get away with it when, once you close it all in and, you know, stuff like that. But even then, you're going to be a bit more professional than that. This is, like, it's just beyond amateur hour. Unbelievable. He delivered this. There's only one thing for this. Catch you next time. 